This should be illegal to read. Four stars. Blood makes the best lube. Five stars. Welcome back to the 12 days of creepness. And today I thought we would just do something that we've done in the past before, but I wanted to read you some fun reviews that I found from extreme horror books. And yeah, I thought we could just laugh about it and have a good old time. So this isn't meant to be mean or anything, obviously. I'm sure you guys know that by now. That I wouldn't purposely be disrespectful to any author, but these are just too funny. And sometimes some a favorite pastime of mine is just going on Goodreads and seeing the shit that people talk. It's hilarious. So I thought that we would start off with one from American Psycho. And this one I thought was so funny. It says, American Psycho is a brilliant book genius. It will no doubt deservingly be remembered as Bret Easton Ellis' masterpiece, his tour de force of sadist misanthropy. I effin hated it. One star. <laughs> and this is why I like these so much is because that's a total valid description, you know? Like, I get it. This book is genius. It just wasn't for me. I can totally respect that. This one I thought was funny. This is from Gone to See the River Man. It says, Gone to see the hypnotist so I can erase the book from my mind. <laughs> And again, you just know, this is one star too, but again, you just don't know, especially with these more extreme controversial books, if this person is saying that they didn't enjoy it because it just wasn't a book for them or if they actually didn't enjoy it. You know what I mean? So I think that that's why these are a little bit easier to laugh at than a mean-spirited comment toward a book. But yeah, I just thought that was funny. Gone to see the hypnotist. That's hilarious. Very clever. Another one from Gone to see the river man was, now why would you write this? <laughs> I just thought that was hilarious. And now we have His Pain by Rath James White. I loved this book. This was about a young boy, well, all through his, his childhood, and um, he's like a teen now. All through his life, all he does is feel pain. There's something wrong with the, the something in his brain. And so every sensation that he feels, sound or smell or taste, any sensation, is perceived as pain and so his parents hire someone that says that they can help him and they end up kind of skewing what pleasure and pain is and the story just gets more and more up from there and this review just says well dot 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 that escalated quickly three stars <laughs> and it does yeah it's like a very interesting story and then all of a sudden you're like oh this should be illegal to read that's how it feels reading it but i really enjoyed this book this one just says you dude oh uh, yeah no i mean these are all thoughts that you have when you're reading these types of books so like fair enough and three stars i mean yeah he didn't hate the book he was just like that was disgusting i feel that i very much so feel that this one i thought was funny this is baby fights by robert essig you'll never guess it you'll never guess what baby fights is about it's about babies fighting. They inject them with, I can't remember what, angel dust is it? And then they make the babies fight. And I really actually enjoyed this book. I thought it was so interesting. And this one just says, baby fights should not be a thing. What the F did I just read? To Robert, thanks, I hated it. Five stars. I thought this was a great review. Yeah, thanks, I hated it, that's awesome. Yeah, no, I mean, yeah, that's how you feel when you're when you're reading about babies fighting to the death. You're just like, what is this? But I thought this was such a fun book to read and actually I wanna check out more of Robert Essig's other books because I thought that this one was rather fun and not too bad from the stuff that I was reading before, again, take this with a grain of salt because I've read some really weird messed up stuff this year, but from the stuff I was reading before, baby fights did seem pretty mild and I thought it was gonna go in really horrible directions, but it ended up being less disturbing than I thought and more just like a fun, weird ride. Another one from baby fights that says, I absolutely adored this book. <laughs> I am all here for loving the books that you love. So, I mean, good for this person. I don't know if the word adored is my sentiments for a book about babies fighting to the death, but you do you. You do you. And I think that's great. And that's um, awesome that this person loved the book so much. Oh man, this is just, this review honestly made my day. I absolutely adored this book. It's a gory book that makes you go, why? Or what did I just read? LOL, like, can I be best friends with this person? <laughs> oh, this is awesome. Oh, yeah, this person might be my hero. Hilarious. 
This is another one. This one says DNF, not into babies trying to murder other babies. And again, like, you know, to each his own, but you pick up a book called Baby Fights and then you're mad and you DNF the book because the babies fight. I just didn't quite understand the logic in this one. I understand why some people wouldn't like this book, don't get me wrong, but I'm just very curious the thought process behind it. Look, you look at the cover and it's like a, I'm pretty sure it's, yeah, it's like a beat up baby on the cover, like a drawn one, and it's called Baby Fights. I'm just very curious what the thought process is there. It's like, I don't want to see babies fight, but I'm gonna read some baby fights. Okay, this is for Talia. This is by Daniel J. Velope, Velope, and this is a, I'm gonna have to give a little bit more away for this review, but this is about, well, they're, it's basically a woman who's forced into the porn industry, but that slowly turns into making snuff films, and then that slowly turns into more and more twisted stuff. But this one just says, holy shit, that was just, that was just fucking badass blood-soaked brutality. Five stars. With this one in particular, so with Talia, I, like I said, I have to get a little bit away for this. The book kind of takes a turn halfway through, and but the reason I have to give it away is because of the next comment here. I'm sick of reading books by men depicting violent sexual attacks on women. Did not finish one star. So let's talk about this one for a quick moment here. So um, I totally get it. You don't want to read books about sexual things and women. That's totally fair. However, the whole point of the book, for me at least, was definitely identifying the discrepancy between how men and women are treating in some industries, specifically like an industry that can exploit women, such as this like underground world that Talia is being forced into. And then also the second half of the book takes a turn and turns into a revenge plot. I'm curious what you guys think. It's fine to DNF a book. You don't want to read it, don't read it. Totally fine. What I don't know is fair is reviewing a book and leaving a one star review thinking that it's one thing and then not even finishing the book. You know what I'm saying? Like, do you guys think that if you DNF a book, you should be able to leave a one star review, even though you didn't finish it and you don't know what the book's about? You get, do you get what I'm saying? And specifically with this one, because the first half and the second half of the book are vastly different. The first half is extremely brutal and the second half you get our badass like revenge story. And so, yeah, like what a shame that this person didn't get to see that like revenge come to life. And I think missed out on what I enjoyed about the book. You can do what you want if you DNF a book and leave a bad review. That's, you know, that's you. But I'm just saying for me personally, I don't know how fair that is for the book that you didn't even finish it and that you think it's just one thing, but it's really another. Do you get what I'm saying? Okay, another one says, blood makes the best lube, five stars. <laughs> uh, this one just says, what the actual fuck, one star. Yep, this, this one was a little hard to get through, I'm not gonna lie. This I thought was funny, it says, I'm off to bleach my brain and bathe in holy water. Nope, oh, that's funny. And see, this is totally fine. This genre is not for me. Totally fair, that's totally fair. And that's good that these comments are on here because then other people who may not know how extreme this book is or may not have been introduced to extreme horror before can read through these reviews and see this and be like, oh, okay, this is extremely messed up, maybe not for me. I think that this is super valid. So I'm not like trying to criticize people who are leaving poor reviews. This one just says, please, sir, a crumb of good horror literature, I beg of you. <laughs> I just like how this one was stated, one star hilarious. Yeah, so that's it. I just thought that I would share some funny reviews with you. Uh, Goodreads gives me a good old laugh. I really do enjoy reading it. And there's something about those more extreme horror books that the reviews are obviously polarizing because the books are polarizing themselves, but they're also hilarious. And I just think that people are very funny. So I wanted to share some funny ones with you. Let me know what you think about these kinds of things down below. And uh, yeah, I'm curious to know what you think about the more extreme stuff. Are you here for it? Is it something that you'd rather not read? Let me know and I will see you soon. No, I will see you tomorrow with another horror video. Bye guys.